I just need to know where stuffy undies came from <laughs> because it's my favorite thing. I love chimichangas and sabers, I'm Lorraine. I love convertibles and aviator sunglasses, I'm Langston. And this is Earth's Mightiest Show. Where we talk about all the biggest stuff in the Marvel Universe. We're celebrating Marvel's 80th anniversary all year long, and now we've announced Marvel Comics 1000, ba ba ba, which tells the ultimate story celebrating 80 years of the Marvel Universe with each page contributed by one of 80 Luminary creative teams. It's gonna be huge. You gotta put it on your pull list now before it hits stores this August. And stick around because we will be talking about the awesome Marvel 80s later on in the show. Yeah, for Marvel's 80th. Also announced, coming in August are some all new comic titles including Ghost Spider number one featuring our girl Spider Gwen, Power Pack number one bringing back the Powers kids, and Fantastic Four Yancey Street number one taking our favorite four back to the old hood. Read them later this summer. I can't wait. Oh, there's so much cool stuff happening, but uh, I'm very, uh, very excited for Memorial Day weekend. You got any plans, Lorraine? A couple. I'm getting married. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> yes. You know that. Uh, tell everybody who's the lucky fella. Uh, he's tall. He's dark. He's mm -hmm. handsome. He's an alien. He's the Beyonder. Everybody knows I'm getting married to the Beyonder. <laughs> what a guy. Great head of hair. Oh, delightful. Uh, we, now, will there be any supervillains crashing this event like Susan Storm and Reed Richards' wedding? Uh, hopefully not. Mm. Although I do hope it'll be more like a sort of Mary Jane and Peter Parker style wedding where there aren't any real super villain problems. It's more just like every ex-boyfriend shows up and gives her some free stuff and tells her like, you sure? And then she's like, yeah. That sounds terrifying. Oh, well, will you have, uh, will you have a, what about a whole drum corps like Black Panther and Storm? I don't think we're gonna have a drum corps, but I do think we will have an epic dance party because Langston and I love to attend a wedding and cut a rug. Yes, I love cutting rugs. Uh, we do. Uh, uh, what kind of design are we gonna, we gonna go for? Uh, uh, any Kirby Crackle? Ooh, I wish some Kirby Crackle, but I'm going more Jessica Jones and Luke Cage. Simple, mm. romantic, lots of pink roses. Okay. It's a classic look, and Luke Cage loves pink. I like it. Uh, well, you know, I'm very, very super excited to attend. I'm very excited. I, I'm this. excited for you to attend too, but don't forget to bring me a present. Ooh, I, ooh, I gotta think about that. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. well, I, I mean, I assume this thing's this thing's gonna be huge. It's gonna be like uh, the iconic uh -huh. Deadpool and uh, Sheikla wedding. Yeah, where every Marvel character ever was basically there. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's gonna be quite that big, but we are gonna have more Deadpool on the show today. That is right, you caught up with Deadpool writer and acclaimed Marvel babies artist Scotty Young. I sure did, plus he taught me how to draw Deadpool, and as you know, I am an amazing artist. Debatable, check it out. Look who I found, it's incredible creator Scotty Young, hello. Uh, hi, how you doing? I'm great, I'm also, I'm just thrilled with your Deadpool run, it's so fun. And before we get into any of it, I just need to know where stuffy undies came from <laughs> because it's my favorite thing with Deadpool running around in unicorn underpants. It really came from like when we decided to set his office in a, in a mall. I was like, well, where would it be in the mall? I'm old enough to remember when the, uh, in the heyday of malls, also they had the Beanie Babies, right? When they oh, first yeah. came around. Mm -hmm. So the Beanie Babies were massive. Um, so malls would have these giant stores with just filled with Beanie Babies. So I thought, oh, we'll put his office in the back of a old, because like, you know nobody would shop at the Beanie Baby store anymore. Um, <laughs> so I thought that'd be great. And uh, for whatever reason, I found myself writing Deadpool without any clothes on. So <laughs> yeah, he that guy cannot keep his shirt on. Literally. I know. I know. So um, I thought at one point he needed to cover himself up quickly. And uh, I thought that was a, pr a pretty funny way. And then Nick uh, absolutely destroyed it on art. It was amazing. Yeah, your artist, Nick Klein, is great. And you're such an amazing artist. Oh, thank you. What is it like collaborating together? It's awesome. I mean, Nick, is uh, he's been a friend of mine for 10 plus years. Um, I'm, I love his work. Um, I think the good thing about me being an artist and then collaborating with artists, especially friends of mine who I know really well, is I have a good sense of how to write very specifically for them. I can understand their tricks and, and, and the turns that they make when they're on a page. Well, and speaking of that, in Deadpool number nine, there's this like Jessica Jones theme. Right. And I love that the color scheme sort of is influenced by her and all of that. Was that something you and Nick talked about? Or yeah. did it just grow? Yeah, no, issue nine was, was that was funny because the intention was to give Nick a, a little bit of a break <laughs> um, and we were gonna do it all black and white, you know, like old school, like noir comics. Um, you know, straight ink, black and white, you know, a little nod to Sin City. It, then when he started bringing back pages, he, f he went the opposite direction. They were, it, was, it was black and white, but it was <laughs> like fully painted. Uh, it was amazing. I agree, it's gorgeous. Yeah, he did a thing with Daredevil 
that shows, it was like a double spread of the city where he can see all the heartbeats. And I have never seen Daredevil's powers like that, and it's it's stunning. Um, what can you tease for coming in the future for Deadpool? Uh, anything we should be on the lookout for? Well, definitely there's going to be some more realms mayhem to be had. So there's a lot of cool, big, fun stuff happening. I am excited. Um, also, can you teach me how to draw Deadpool? I think so, maybe. I, I, I did not go to college, nor do I have a teaching degree, but I think I could probably wing it. I'm a good learner. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So what I like to do when I start, we're gonna do like a little Deadpool head. Okay. So what I'll do is I take, I'll draw almost what I would consider somewhat of a pill shape. A pill shape. Yeah, like a long kind of oblong shape. So I like, if, mm -hmm. if, if you look like at it. Like a potato it, situation? A little bit of a potato. Okay, great. Um, Wait, hold on. I got this, I got this. <laughs> Right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. So yep. Good. Oh, great. Great. Now, go in and add the little Cali piece. <laughs> okay. There we go. There. All right. Looks good. Now, what we want to do is we want to add two mm -hmm. more ovals, or you can do diamonds. Everybody's everybody's uh, Deadpool is a little different. Okay. I like that you put his like other eye kind of off to the side to give it some like perspective. Yeah. We're gonna do a little three quarter turn. Because you know what, it's really a cheat to make sure if you do things straight on, mm. it's always going to be, you get, one side's going to be wonky. And oh. so this, is a, this is a good cheat. That's the only way I should right. probably draw anything then. So is we're going to do it to the side. <laughs> just to the side. So what we're going to do here is now we're going to take lines from the top and bottom mm -hmm. of each of his eyes, and that's going to be like the seams of his cowl. Now, this is the fun part. We're going to go in, you pick whichever eye you want. I'm going to pick the 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 right hand eye. Mm -hmm. And I always, Deadpool's always great when he has one big bulgy eye. Oh, okay. And then one squinty eye. Like he's just, he's always giving you some sort of like, huh? Look, right? That's how I look in all photos. One eye. One eye, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I like to put a little, uh, little shine on his eye patches. Oh. So we go in, think of these little things right here at the top uh -huh. and bottom corners. Think of them as like two hourglasses, a little bit. Oh. Or H's, e either way. Draw those in. And I then, feel like my Deadpool looks a little bit like he killed someone in prison. <laughs> he looks a little teardrop That's that. Sometimes that's right in, in line with the character. So okay. You're, you're so, crush, I think you're crushing it. Thank you. Okay, great. All right, so what we want to do now is go in between those little hourglasses and fill it in with black. Okay. And that starts to come off looking a lot like Deadpool. Now, Deadpool is nothing if not uh, a motor mouth. So we are gonna give him a word balloon. Okay. You could put, and I want you to put anything you want in your word balloon, I'll put anything I want in my word balloon and we'll compare. <laughs> Let's reveal. Okay. All right, this is this is the right way to do it. Oh! Screwball. Screwball, I was Screwball, with that. Screwball, yeah. Um, here's mine, nailed it! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, he did murder people in prison. He 100% uh, did. With that crazy bag balloon filled with <laughs> rocks or... Yeah, uh, a, a sock full of bricks. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I watch a lot of TV. Um, but I feel like this is the most appropriate speech bubble. What hack drew me? Well, next time I think, next time I stop by, we might have to do another drawing lesson of, a, of his new, uh, his next arch nemesis, uh, Brick Sock. Brick Sock! Brick Sock. <gasps> Look out for Brick Sock <laughs> everywhere in Deadpool Comics. Scotty, thank you so much for uh, talking to me. Thank you. Don't take my job. I will. But please do not take I my think, job. I think I you're kids. safe. I have kids. They're hungry. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, I love Deadpool's unicorn underpants. I know, they're so nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna keep working on my art skills though, you guys. I'm getting lessons from the best, so you eventually are. I'm you gonna are. get and better. Where are the lessons going exactly? Where are they going? In, I mean, because the, the the drawings have been, you have set the bar, just. It's more down here. There it is. <laughs> All right, you guys. No, no, but you know, you know what? I can give you art lessons for uh, your wedding gift. How about instead you give me Deadpool number 13? It comes out on June 5th, and uh, Deadpool enters the War of the Realms. That's much better than that. That's much better than what I offered you. Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> yes. uh, well, listen, you're not the only one that gets to have fun, Lorraine. Fire up your Nostalgia Forge, everyone, because it is Marvel's 80th anniversary, and to celebrate, we highlight a new decade every month, and this month, it is all about the 80s. So I caught up with toy expert Jordan Hembro to see the greatest Marvel toys and collectibles of the awesome 80s. Tubular, let's watch. 
What's up, y'all? I am hanging out with pop culture expert and, yes, Marvel toy hunter extraordinaire, Jordan Hembro. Jordan, how are you, my friend? I am doing well. Thank you. Now, we are celebrating Marvel's 80th anniversary we here. We are. And uh, we're talking about the 80s this month, and you have delivered, and then some with some <laughs> incredible 80s toys and collectibles. Get ready to have your mind blown. I am ready. I brought in some Marvel Secret Wars, and these were done by Mattel. Yes. In the 1980s, mm -hmm. you were an 80s child, yes? I was born in 85. 85, so okay. I, I grew up being aware of these because other people had them, and I did not because I was a child. You've got Falcon, you've got Daredevil. I love these. This is Spider-Man in his black uniform, Iconic. and of course you've got classic Spider-Man. Oh my goodness, I mean, one thing I want to talk about are these like secret shields. The shields were really innovative for the time because what they did is they used something called lenticular technology, and that's really when you see these images kind of transform back and forth as you move the toy. They're actually more collectible than the action figures. So the figures, great. Secret shield. The shield. If you have a secret shield, hold on to it tight. Save it, save it, keep it a secret. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> exactly. I love stuff that's sort of like on the fringe of the toy industry. It's Neato's. Oh, no, okay, okay. So this I've never seen before. These are hangers for children's rooms, and what they did is they encouraged kids to basically pick up their clothes, okay, and cool. you know what I'm gonna do? Okay, I'm doing what? something special. I'm Please opening hold. a sealed box. Are you box. serious? Yeah, I'm gonna open the box for you guys. Is, is like, yeah, like a lost soul going to come out? Uh, <laughs> could be, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so oh, excited. Yeah. I'm excited. They're, they're brand new yeah. to me too. So you would take these stickers and you put them on your hanger mm -hmm. and you'd hang them up in your closet and everything like that, which was really, really cool. Jordan, I'll be honest, I never in my lifetime did I ever think I'd be excited about hangers. And I don't want to put the stick, I just want to put the stickers on everything. On everything. Including the hangers. All right, I'll see if I can get extra ones for I you. Like, cool. <laughs> yeah, nice. There we go. This is a staple going back all the way to the 1960s. We have Hot Wheels. I love it. What happened was essentially Marvel joined up with Mattel and they said, look, we're gonna make a line of limited edition Hot Wheels cars. And they did it. This is from 1980s, this is from, uh, this is Iron Man. This actually had a very unique feature on it. And if you look on the back, you can see how the rear wheels are sort of lifted up a mm -hmm. little bit. Okay, that was back in the 1970s and 80s when everyone was like hijacking their cars in the back and they mm -hmm. were they wanted a little hot rod stance yeah. and everything like that. So Hot Wheels said, you know what? We're gonna build in a mechanism into this toy that's gonna allow you to raise and lower the car and really give it a really cool look. That's good. And that of course, if anyone has a cool looking car, it's gonna be Tony Stark. It also makes sense because he would need like the extra, the Hulk sits in the back. That's right. He's like, that, the, that, he's boom, 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 boom. From 1980, this is Spider-Man's aim and shoot, okay? So what this is, is this is actually Spider-Man as if he was helping Captain America and the Hulk go on a secret mission, but he's piloting a plane <laughs> and he's dropping it with parachutes. This is my favorite narrative for a, a toy that I've ever heard. Oh my goodness. Now that's Spider-Man's plane. He got his pilot's license at some point. Right inside of here is a sight and a scope and you would look through the scope and when you're over the target, you'd release that and your little man would go, woo, and he would land safely on the target. Okay, one, and two. Oh, that was close. Jordan, you, this has been such a great time seeing all these incredible collectibles and, and yeah. toys. Where can people find out more about you and everything you're up to? Okay, for all your latest toys, you know, tips, tricks, everything you need to know, you can find me on all kinds of social media. I'm on Twitter, at Jordan Hembro, Instagram, at Jordan Hembro, or if your heart so desires, you can find me through my website, www.hollywoodheroes.com. This is fantastic. Thank, Thank you for hanging you. out with us. I think, I think I'm just gonna hang out with this little Spider-Man. Sure, There's absolutely. Some more. Langston, tell me, did you steal any of those toys from me? I tried to, but Jordan Hembro swiftly tackled me. He's very strong. Ugh, I'm just gonna have to wait and find out what you're giving me for a wedding. It's gonna be good. All right. Piranhas. Piranhas? You heard me. All right, tell us what you think Deadpool is gonna be up to this <laughs> Memorial Day weekend and use the hashtag Earth's Mightiest Show. We'll see you next time. I'm Lorraine. And I'm Langston. And this is Marvel. Your universe. Piranhas? I could officiate. No. Thanks for watching our Smitey Show. If you like this, like this, leave us a comment and subscribe. Oh, click the box over there to watch our last episode. And when I officiate, we can do an Asgardian ceremony. I, a hard pass.